Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Lissa. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make teriyaki salmon boneless wings, or I guess um, teriyaki fried salmon. So for this recipe, all you're gonna need is some salmon. I got two uh, four ounce fillets, but you can use however much salmon you need. Eggs, a couple eggs. Whatever kind of teriyaki sauce you like, but this Sweet Baby Ray's one is hella good, so I suggest that one. Garlic powder, Cajun seasoning or some type of seasoning salt. <clears throat> You're gonna need some kind of flour, and then this is optional, some green onion. Oh, and then of course, to fry, you are gonna need some oil. All right, y'all, so for the first step, we're gonna go ahead and turn our salmon into our little wing pieces. So what you wanna do is find a loose piece of the skin on the edge of your fillets and just pull that skin off the back like that because we don't want that on our chicken. I mean, my bad, my salmon wings. Whatever. The same with that one. And again, um, you can use however much salmon you like. I mean, we just frying it ain't no specific recipe. I don't need a ton of these, so I'm not frying a ton. But now that we got the skin off, I'm gonna just cut mine down the middle because these are not the biggest pieces of salmon. And I'm gonna try to get 16 little bites. So yeah, just cut them in the little squares like this, like you would if you was making boneless chicken wings. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, so real quick, I finished cutting up my salmon. I like salmon skin, so I'm not gonna um, throw this salmon away. What I'm gonna do with this is take them little them little scales off and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do with this later hold on so to take the scales off just brush a knife you see how they popping off like that just brush a knife over the top of the skin and then we're gonna set these to the side because I want these just take all them shells off I said shells, my bad. Scales, take them scales off of there. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, for the next step, I went ahead and put some flour in a bowl. You just wanna put like a cup or two of flour, depending on how much you frying. Put that in a the bowl. Then I got my two eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and beat those up real quick. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of Cajun seasoning in both of these bowls. And you can just season that to the taste. I'm not gonna put that much salt because the um, sauce is still going on these. So just put a little bit for some flavor. Same with the garlic powder. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna just put a little bit of this on the salmon itself too because why not i'll just get a little little extra flavor but don't put a bunch of salt though so what i'm gonna do is i forgot to mix this up all right what i'm gonna do is go ahead lord i ain't mixed that flour up either Hold on, I got my flour mixed up. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and toss these little pieces of salmon into the bowl. Let's save that. And just get them coated in the flour. And then we're gonna put it in the egg. I'm gonna just put them all in the egg. It don't matter. That way I ain't gotta do a bunch of trips. I think I got all my pieces. All right, y'all. Get all the excess flour out. And then 
just coat the salmon pieces with the egg. Oh yeah. All right. Now what we gonna do is go back in the flour. Let's put them all back in the flour. Make sure you get off most of that extra egg. And I'm just gonna toss these up. And then I got this other bowl right here and that's gonna be for our little finished product. So after you coat it a second time, I'm just gonna ahead and put it in the bowl or whatever plate, something separate from what you're using to put the flour and stuff on. All right, let me do the rest of these and then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. All right, y'all, I went ahead and heated up my grease. You wanna make sure that you put enough grease and whatever you frying in to cover up your little salmon nuggets. And all I'm gonna do is just drop these in here. And I got my oil on like a medium high setting. And we just gonna fry these until they get crispy. It shouldn't take more than a, a few minutes to do this here. I'm not going to overcrowd this pan. I'm just going to put a few of these, like half of these. I'm going to fry them, and I'm going to come back and show you what they should look like. All right, y'all. So this is what my salmon bites look like after frying. I fried them for about two and a half minutes. So fry them for about two to three minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and set those to the side. You don't wanna overcook them cause then the salmon gonna be dry inside. Real quick, I told y'all I was gonna fry that salmon skin. So I like to eat this cause it's like, like it's crackling or something like that, but fish. So you just fry it up and it's gonna get nice and crispy. And you just eat that like a little snack or whatever. I mean, you don't gotta eat it, right, y'all. So for the last step, I'm gonna go ahead. I took another skillet and I put a little bit of oil in it. And we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this uh, sweet baby rays. And you don't have to use this sauce. You can use whatever. And we're gonna pull these up and down. No way, I'm gonna put a little more sauce on here. Put a little more sauce. And we just gonna toss these up, y'all. Damn it. Yeah, just get that sauce coated on them. Shouldn't take long. And then that'll. Ooh. That'll be that, y'all. Oh, also, if you are interested in a blunt holding ring, I will put the uh, link in the description where you can buy those. All right, y'all. So this is our little salmon boneless wings. I'm gonna go ahead and plate those up and taste them for y'all. All right, y'all. This is the end result of my teriyaki salmon boneless wings. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it for y'all. Mm -hmm. Very tasty, y'all. It tastes like chicken, low key. I mean, since we calling everything what it ain't. <laughs>
But anyways, y'all, if you like general so chicken and stuff like that, I suggest you try out this recipe. It's very tasty. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of Cooking with Lisa. Oh, wait, my bad. I forgot to taste my little crispy salmon skin. Mm-hmm. That's good, y'all. And I mean, they're just a little crispy snack. So next time you're making salmon for whatever reason, don't throw away the skin because it's good and it's healthy. Anyways.